Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I am very, very excited because I am in the mood to be shady. I'm in the mood <laughs> to drag somebody. So today we're gonna be testing out five minute crafts makeup hacks, which you guys should know at this point means a whole lot of screaming, yelling, frustration. Oh my God, that is a th <laughs> First of all, champagne is so expensive, right? I don't have a problem with makeup hacks in general. I am all here for people being able to learn new skills and techniques that might make their makeup routine easier for them. And that is amazing. The problem is these five minute craft makeup hacks aren't helpful. They are simply just the most ridiculous household items, crazy fruits, vegetables, potato. Ooh, that's both of them. <laughs> If we do come across one hack that is actually helpful and good, I have no problem giving credit where credit is due, but we've done a video like this in the past, which by the way, if you've not seen, you should definitely go check it out for more laughs. But uh, judging by the results of that one, this is probably just gonna be a gigantic waste of time, but at least you guys will get to enjoy my misery and my screaming. So without further ado, let's expose some five minute crap makeup hacks. <laughs> Amazing beauty hacks that actually work. Oh, are we sure, Miss Mama? Okay, so she's dipping a Q-tip into a blue cream, putting dots on her face, yellow. Okay, now red. Okay, yep. So, oh my God, why is this video starting off with hacks that like actually work? So basically the whole, oh my God, that jump cut. So basically the whole concept is instead of using a foundation, you can use dots of red, yellow, and blue and mix them together and they will form a foundation color. And this hack actually does work. Um, and the reason for that is because every single foundation shade out there is a mix of the primary colors plus either white or black to lighten or darken everything. So this hack definitely does work. It's just really, really hard to get an actual good, um, you know, skin color match. And this is honestly more of like a TikTok trend to just like get a clickbait type of video. Um, Whereas this isn't really necessarily like a makeup hack because it's much easier and probably cheaper to just buy an actual foundation shade that matches you. Okay, so I'm just gonna start off with some yellow. Let's do a little yellow, 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 yellow. Okay. Gorgeous, beautiful, stunning. And I'm not gonna use too much blue because I don't really have all of the undertones. They're more pinky toned, um, but I do need some in there just to neutralize everything. I never thought we'd be playing with color theory in a five minute crafts makeup hack. I'm genuinely shocked. Now I'm just gonna give my face a nice spritz of setting spray so it does blend together. Now let's see what color we created here today. I'm scared. My face in the trap, face in the trap. Oh my God, this is literally insane. So. It was supposed to give, but it did not give what needed to be gay. Definitely went a little bit overboard on the yellow. And I think the red too, because we've ended up orange. This is definitely going to be a fail from me. Like I kind of mentioned though, this like in theory does actually work. It's just so much easier to just buy your foundation color and then not look orange and sunburnt and like our last president. Let's take a look at our next hack. Easy contouring. Yeah, it looks like crap. Glad you know this girl. No, oh my God. A high heel? It works. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Oh my God. Why are people like this? Here we go. Let's try this out. Use my nice high heel. This is so stupid. Oh my God. I wonder if the actors and actresses that are like doing these videos are sitting there being like, I can't believe that I'm getting paid to do this. Honestly, no hate to them. Secure the bag. Put in the heel, lining from the top of my ear to my mouth. You get a nice little mark too. Yep. It's giving Trixie Mattel vibes. Who we love, but not for this. You just have to imagine a line from the top of your ear to the corner of your mouth and use a nice little contour fluffy brush. Leave your shoes for your feet, please. That's disgusting. Do you get frozen honey for a video? Ew, that is so gross. Those... Oh, it looks so good. So this is this is for contour on your nose because you have trouble with it. No, I don't. I'm so good at nose contouring. It is literally my favorite stuff in my makeup routine. Sometimes our favorites are the best. Oh! <laughs> sunglasses oh my god and then she's gonna push it down her nose oh that looks absolutely god awful and then she's running out with one of those stupid artiste brushes from a thousand years ago like there's the whole point of contouring 
is to chisel. So if you're just gonna put darker powder on there in the same places you already have shadows, there's literally no point. It's a complete waste of time and it looks bad. So we have our nice pair of little glasses here and we're just gonna rub our little contour stick all over the frame. Ironically enough, one of the biggest reasons that I got LASIK eye surgery, which is the best decision of my entire life, let me say that, was because I obviously wore glasses and contacts during the day and it was so much of a hassle. But whenever I wore makeup, putting glasses on was like the absolute biggest problem for me because it would take the foundation off on my nose. So the fact that this is actually a hack is really just bringing it full circle, if you will. We'll see it. <laughs> okay, ready? Right. So glasses are on, now we're just going to push it down the nose. I was gonna add to it too. No. Okay, so, okay. <laughs> so now, since this is here, we're just gonna go ahead and blend it out. That's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna blend out this lovely nose contour placement. It literally made my nose bigger, which is the opposite of what you're trying to do. Girl, the best hack that I can teach you guys whenever you are doing a nose contour is you don't want to follow your actual like anatomy of your nose. The whole point is to reshape and create new bone structure. I'm basically going to draw the two lines closer together on the top of the bridge of my nose, just like this. And then you always want to make sure you follow it up into the eyebrows as well so it doesn't look just like a crazy out of place line. But see, that's what it should look like, which I recognize looks crazy. But once you, of course, have your foundation on and all of your concealer and you blend it out, this is going to help give you that like really tiny little snatched nose look which is what we like to go for in the makeup community because now instead of my entire nose being highlighted, only this tiny little line right down the center is what's actually getting attention drawn to it. On to the next one, this one's a flop. Okay, is that packing peanuts? Or is that marshmallows? No. Are you, you have to be kidding me. I don't even think that's setting powder. That's like actual cooking flour. Yeah. I'm gonna apply a little bit of foundation and now we're just gonna blend it in using some nice um, fluffy marshmallows and some flour. Mm, they smell good. Oh. Let's dip a marshmallow into the flour. Oh my God. Ew. So not surprisingly, the marshmallow is really not doing a great job of actually picking up what? You're just reviewing this marshmallow act. <laughs> Like, I guess it did set it in place. I wonder how it's going to do with foundation. Actually, that's a good suggestion, Lena. Okay. That, oh my God, fun. Look, look at you, just creative directing. Oh, Lewis, no. better watch out. No. I'm really nervous to know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It looks a little bit uneven, but it's not doing the worst job at actually applying it, to be honest. Oh my God, it pains me to say this. I guess, in theory, this makeup pack does work. You can get like a little package of the triangular beauty sponges at CVS for like $5, flour, at the grocery store is like $12. Wait, 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 how much does flower cost? The bag of all purpose flower from Target is $2.19. What? <laughs> what? Really? Yeah. Oh my God, what a steal. <laughs> I love all <laughs> How much is a bag of marshmallows? Probably less. No, I feel like marshmallows are like a, a luxury good. What? <laughs> oh, you're funny. Thank you so much. Persimmon? Wait, what is a persimmon? 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 Persimmon, honey, mashing it together. Why does she? No! No! Oh my god! You have to be kidding me! Oh my god! Oh my god! Natural highlighter? Bitch! Oh my god, she's gonna be walking outside and the bees are gonna fly up to her and try to pollinate her cheekbones. Who will write these things? This doesn't look like a persimmon. It's an apricot, we don't have persimmons. <laughs> I don't think I've ever tried an apricot either. Oh my God, mukbang. It smells like a pumpkin. Okay, should I try a bite of this? I don't wanna eat pumpkin. There's no flavor, like it doesn't taste like a fruit. It might not be in seasoning. Yeah. So we're just gonna go ahead and scoop some persimmon. Little honey, let's try this out. Okay guys, here's our nice natural highlighter, really mixing this together. Here we go. Oh, there's our natural, nice, beautiful. Look at that glow. Oh, it's blinding. Oh my God, the makeup gods are quaking and shaking and rumbling in their boots. By far, I think this takes the cake for the worst five minute crafts makeup hack thus far. Ew, now my face is gonna feel all sticky. So 
So this girl used a chapstick and a newspaper to lift up the ink from the paper that was printed on it and then apply it to her eyelids. That sounds like an eye infection and a sty waiting to happen. That could not be any less sanitary, but we're gonna try it out here on the channel because that's what the point of this video is. Look what I got. This is much harder to find than you think. Newspapers? Yeah. Let's go ahead and lift this nice blue shade in the sky up in here and create some nice blue shadow with it. Just gonna grab my little chopstick, putting it on there, just really applying it all over the sky. And then we're going to use our little thingy to really rub it in. That's the amount of pigment that came off. No, it's not. This is not even a hack where I could be like, oh, it's not the best, but I guess if you're in a pinch, you could use this technique. This literally does not work. This is a complete and utter failure. And if I wake up tomorrow with a sty in my eye, I'm gonna be suing the Epic Times and Five Minute Crafts, so. So we are finally on our last and final makeup hack of the video. Let's go ahead and press apply. Is that school? No. Oh, no, what? Literally what? It... <laughs> Using school glue to paint an outline of your lips and then using food coloring to color the lips in and then ripping off the school glue to create like a perfect stencil. Why? If you already are trying to make a precise line with the school glue anyway, just make the precise line with your lips. No, this is so dumb. Just gonna squeeze some nice school glue into this little bowl here, making some slime. Okay, now we're just going to paint this glue onto my face. Don't want that glass <laughs> Okay, and I'm applying some nice red food coloring. Let's go ahead and try this out. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and peel this off. Oh, she, how is she able to rip that off in one piece? Oh my God, this is so stupid. Hmm, the perfect lip. <laughs> I am over this. This looks, this is so stupid. Literally just put on your lipstick. It's really not that hard. If you need some help, use a lip liner beforehand. Glue, the whole point is to like get like a clean line where you yeah. peel it off and it helps you with like your precision. But you have to put on the glue precisely in the first place anyway, in order to even get that peel off. So like if you already know how to put on a clean line, just do your lipstick in the first place. On that note, you guys, I think that is our last and final makeup hack of today. I have definitely had quite enough. And as I thought, I am now very annoyed that I have wasted my time for the past two hours giving Five Minute Crafts my views. That being said, uh, thank you for giving me your view and I sincerely hope that you have enjoyed watching my pain and anger through trying these makeup hacks out today. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and leave me a comment letting me know which was your favorite thing that we tried out in today's video. Hopefully it's none of them. If you have not already, make sure you click that big red subscribe button and come join the family. Also click that bell icon so you can notified every time I upload a brand new video. And finally, if you want to follow me on any of my other social media accounts, they're all just James Charles. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching today. Today's video. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye!